What's up and welcome to another YouTube video. My name is Eddie and I'm still addicted to Marvel Snap and we've got a brand new season that just went live the Rise of the Phoenix which means we got new cards new battle pass or season pass or whatever but the most exciting part of all as always are the new variants. As you guys know by now, Marvel Snap, I don't know why they do this, but this is how they do it. If you open up your phone in the game, go to the blog section. There's a whole section about the blog with a blog with all of the new updates to the game with the past. And then they have a section where they list every single new variant and they don't show the new variants themselves. So I decided to take it upon myself each and every single time there's a new patch to go find them on snap.fan and showcase to you guys every single one of the new variants right here in this video. And that's what we're gonna do. Now, before we start, a quick disclaimer for everybody. Yes, I am a part of the Marvel Snap content creator program. Uh, the only extra for this video that it helps me with is that I got to see the blog a couple hours before it went live for you guys so that it helped me prepare this video and find all the cards themselves. Please note, um, I am not here to tell you guys which one you should or should not buy. I'm just here to showcase all the variants themselves. You guys obviously will get to pick and choose the ones that you like. I'm going to tell you guys my personal choices are the ones that I want to go out and find, but please don't take this as a video of me trying to tell you guys you need to buy this or you don't need to buy that that's not a point of this video i'm just here to showcase the cards let's jump right into it first up we're gonna go through the three season pass cards because so, these are, are easy uh, as you guys can see here we're getting a variant for the phoenix force itself which is the season pass card um the phoenix force if you guys go down here you can see it's just a straight up phoenix i really like this variant where you can see Jean gray's transition into the phoenix in this variant very, very cool, uh, done by Alex Horley, which surprisingly, I haven't been the biggest fan of his art in the past, but I think this one really works for me. Um, I really like this, like, merging of the Phoenix Force with Jean Grey. Excellent variant, and as like I said before, this is going to be a part of the Season Pass, so if you buy the pass, you will be able to get this one. Next, we've got the Magic, and I've done a whole video about Magic, and this variant was really high up on that ranking for me. Very, very good variant. Um, love the background. Love the way that she's attacking with the sword, the pose, everything about it. Love the, the difference in the suit um, from the black suit that she has in her base card. Really, really good one here. Again, I don't want to spend too much time on the season pass cards because we got over 30 new variants to look at. Next, we've got Colossus. Same idea. Very cool uh, variant of Colossus with him. With the, It's the Phoenix Force version. So same idea. It's him merging with the Phoenix Force. I don't know. So f this is a fun fact for you guys. I don't know the lore of the Phoenix Force. However, I do have the board game Marvel United. And in the board game of Marvel United, uh, there is a Phoenix Force bundle where one of the villains is the Phoenix Force and you have to beat every single variant of them, like Cyclops, Colossus, and all that. So I know the idea behind it. I get the logic behind it, which is the Phoenix Force taking control of some of these people, which is really cool, but I don't actually have the full detail of it. But I still really like this variant. All right. From here onwards, these are all the new variants that are being added throughout the month. So they're not being added today. They, as you guys probably know by now, they release new variants every single week. So these are the 30 variants we're going to see throughout the whole month of July. I also have their costs. So as we go through them, I'm going to tell you guys how much each and every single one of them costs on release. Um, so the first one is Black Bolt 3099. I really like this Black Bolt. I do think he has a couple better ones. I really like this one here by Scon uh, and a couple others. But this is really cool. Not a huge fan of the 3099 theme. And you guys are going to see it as we go through this one. But I don't think it's a bad one. This is going to be a super rare variant. So it's going to be 1,200 gold on release. The next one is one that I have been waiting so, so long for. And that's Max Grek. Deadpool variant. Ma Deadpool is one of the first YouTube videos I ever did uh, where I showcased variants. And in that list, I talked about how I couldn't wait for this one to release because I really, really like this variant. And it's finally out. I'm pretty sure I did that video around Christmas time. That's how long it's been. So it's been like almost ha seven months now since the last time I've seen this like variant. And now it's finally being released to the game. And even better news, it's a rare variant, which means it's going to be only 700 gold on release excellent i cannot wait for this one this is already my number one must buy next we've got misty knight the sports variant i really like the sports variants overall i really like the baseball themed one for misty knight really cool here um again the the sports ones are hit or miss for most people some people absolutely love the sports variants and some people don't as you guys can see for misty knight she has pretty good variants overall and i think this one just fits really well 
with all the others. This is also going to be another 700 gold. So uh, it's a rare variant. Next, we've got Volmi Nova. Really, really cool Nova. Love the background. Love the pose. Love the suit. Everything about this one is really good. I don't play a lot of Nova in my decks. Even when I play Destroy decks, Nova is not like a must-go, like a go-to card for me. But if I had a variant like this, I probably would. I don't even think I have any variants. I feel like the base card of Nova is very messy. Like, there's a lot going on on it. And so I really like that most of his variants, like these top last four here, are just stellar. That ultimate one is also really good. But I feel like this is a really good version of the variant one, or of the ultimate one, without having to cost a 5,000 token. This one is going to cost 1,200 gold. So it's a super rare variant. I really like this one. Next, we've got Adam Warlock by Alex Horley. I've mentioned this in the past past uh literally earlier in this video alex horley's variants don't really do it for me i like the style i do like i i could see people enjoying it he's just not for me um the face just feels a little bit off i do like the style of it like how do i explain like the art drawing itself but the faces of the characters don't do it for me um so this one I'm, i don't want to spend too much time because i'm not the biggest fan of it but it's not a bad one this is going to be an ultimate variant so five thousand tokens for the adam warlock variant Next, uh, this one's a bit of a weird one. We've got Jean Grey, and in the schedule, uh, it says Jean Grey by Art Germ. Now, the thing is, Jean Grey actually has two Art Germ variants. We've got this one, which is the green suit, the original old, old Jean Grey suit, and this one, which is also Art Germ, where she's merging with the Phoenix. So I actually don't know which one of the two is the one that's being added to the game, but it's one of the two. And the one that is being added says here is going to be 1,200 gold. So it's a super rare variant. I actually hope it's this one. I think this one's way better than this one. But I don't necessarily hate the, the green, regular green suit here. Jean Grey is another character I don't want to spend too much time on video-wise because next week we're doing a ranking of Jean Grey's uh, variants on her release. Um, another one by Jean Grey that's releasing is the one from Philip Tan. Philip Tan. Really like this one, I can tell you already. Uh, this one's also super rare, so it's going to be 1,200 gold. Next, we've got Dan Hip Psylocke. You guys know this. I've mentioned this in the past. Psylocke has probably up there with Noel and Miles Morales non-stop 10 out of 10 variants. And Dan Hip just adds to that package. Now, not a huge fan of the plain background, but I do like that there's a lot of colors in the background. Love Psylocke's drawing and the weapons and all of that. Everything about the character is fantastic. I just wish it was a bit more in the background. But you guys know me. I always complain about the backgrounds. I feel like they need to add to it. But I do like the coloring to it. Stellar. This one's going to be a 700 gold variant. Then we've got Dan Hip Agatha. Now here's the thing. I like this one because I'm a big fan of Dan Hip now. But I don't like Agatha as a character and a card in the game. Like she's not my favorite to play. And I don't like old, like, grandma version of Agatha. There's a lot here where, like, I like the base one, and I like the chibi one. And then these three that are, like, grandma version, I'm not a big fan of. So this one is, like, a, a skip for me. Uh, this one's going to be 700 gold as well. Then we've got Mystique by Elizabeth Torque. Mystique is another one of those characters that just has stellar, stellar, stellar variants. Really, really good. And this one is another really good one. Love the merging, like, the... The morphing of a bunch of different sets of like characters all around her like her arm being one thing her other arm being another her chest like everything is different that is so cool i wish the background wasn't yellow on the side here just give us like have her be in the middle of a town or something like a city or anything but really cool very very cool and this one is going to be 1200 gold as well so a super rare variant then we've got julio rincione Red Skull. Red Skull. I haven't done a video on his yet, but I can tell you guys Red Skull has a lot of really good variants as well. And this one is super cool. I'm Again, the face doesn't do it for me, but everything else about it is really good. I do like the style of this one. Just the face is a bit off. And this one is going to be 700. Oh, nice. I like the price for that one. 700 gold. Uh, so it's a rare variant, not a super rare for this one. Next, we've got Wong. The Ben variant. Uh, I really find this one funny to see Wong singing. I, I haven't done a video on Wong because he doesn't have many variants. He only has five. And I always say minimum six to be able to do a video on his uh, on the set. But I do like this one. I think it's a fun one. This is also going to come out as super rare. So 1,200. It's a bit high for me. Uh, I, I don't think I'd spend set 1,200 on a 
banned variant for Wong, but I'm sure some people absolutely love them and they're going to go for it. Next, we've got Echo, the Peach Momoko one. Echo only has three variants, and I can tell you right now, all three of them are incredible, right? Like, incredible. And Peach Momoko, you guys know, 10 out of 10 almost every single time. This is another one of those excellent cards. She's, um, the, the, the way that they have Echo drawn is just perfect. Again, the background, I, I wish there was a bit more, but for Peach Momoko, she does a really good, or they do a really good job with um, getting the colors to make the character stand out. So this is the one exception is Peach Momoko when it comes to background because they just do a good job with it. This one, where is it? Echo Peach Momoko is super rare. So 1,200 gold as well. Then we've got the Pixel uh, Jean Grey. It's awful. Let's move on. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. That one's going to be 700 gold. Thank God it's not more than that. Omega Red 3099. I said it before, 3099 is not my like go-to type of variant but omega red already being a bit like a robotic human like not a human but like a robot humanoid type thing it does work for me for this character specifically so i actually do like this variant of omega red because it's not too dra like it's not too much of a change with the 3099 variant whereas others i it doesn't work for me this one is i still think it looks pretty cool this omega red is going to be 1200 gold so it's a super rare variant Next, we got Dan Hip Magneto. I'm really liking the variants for this month, guys. This is going to be a really good month to look into on collecting more variants. Um, Very cool. Love this Magneto. I, it's a bit on the simpler side. Uh, I feel like there the could be a bit more going on. The, like, green explosion is not that bad, but I kind of wish it was just a little bit more with this Magneto variant, in my opinion. This is going to be 700 gold, so it's a rare variant. Next, we got Venomized Red Skull. Really like this one. Background's kind of bland, but at least it's a bit red. I like that there's the Venom logo on his jacket, which is pretty cool. Um, this is also 1,200 gold, so it's going to be a super rare variant. Again, he has a lot of really good ones. I feel like this is one of the weaker ones, in my opinion, but it's not like, it's not the worst. Next, Moon Knight Pixel. I hate Pixel, but I think this is the, one of, if not the best Pixel variant in the game. So cool. This is everything I want from a, a card. Yes, it's a pixel, but there's a background. There's a pose. He's throwing this. Like, you can see him in action. And you can still recognize the character, even though it's a pixel variant. Really, really like this one. This is probably my first must-own pixel variant, in my opinion. And this is going to be... Sorry, Super Venom Venomize is 1,200 gold. This is 700 gold. Thank God, again, it's not more expensive. But it's a really good pixel one. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the, of the pixels. Because I think this is a good one. Next, we've got Art Germ Mystique. Art Germ is the only one who can nail realistic faces. And once again, proving to me that I am correct when I say that. Look at this. Stellar. Excellent. Very, very good variant. This is going to be... Oh, it's an ultimate variant. So this is going to be 5,000 tokens. Uh, that's heartbreaking. I don't think it's worth 5,000 tokens. It's a good drawing. It's a good variant. But I feel like Mystique has a lot of really good variants that you can get for much cheaper than 5,000 tokens. Um, if you guys like it, I mean, of course, go ahead. But I, I don't think it's worth it personally. Then we got Dan Hip Legion. This is probably the same week as when Legion comes out. Uh, really cool. Again, the background, wish it was more. But the good news is I like the way that they did the background. Kind of fits with the character of Legion with the colors and everything. Uh, I don't know too, too much. But I've seen a couple of the episodes of the show. And I did like what I saw of it. I, I think it was canceled. But anyways, not a big deal. This is a 700 gold variants it's going to be a rare variant i think it's a really good one then we've got ryan gonzalez america chavez i think this is one of my favorite america chavez variants uh I, there's a lot of good ones i wish that the ryan gonzalez one and the matthew wilson had a different pose i was gonna say they're the, literally the same just a different jacket slash hoodie but outside of that it's pretty good um i do like this one love the coloring you guys know this Our, ryan gonzalez does a great job with her coloring Great background, even though you can't see it much. It is still there, and it does the job for me. This is a good one. This America Chavez is going to be 1,200 gold. Super rare variant. Then we've got Black Widow, Dan Hip. Once again, same idea. Love the character. Love the art style. Background could be a little bit more. So I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I like it a lot. This is a 700 gold variant. Mr. Sinister, the Sinister London variant i don't know why they call this one the sinister london variant 
but I like it. I'm, I'm not the biggest Sinis Mr. Sinister player. I barely ever play a Cerebral decks, and I don't think he fits in many other decks overall. Um, so I'm not necessarily going to go out of my way to buy any variants of his. And there are a couple of them that I think look better. But this is a pretty cool one. I like I like how vi varied and different it looks from all the other character, um, the other variants he has. This is a 700 gold one. So it's actually a pretty good price. Next, we got Kim Jacinto. I hope I'm saying it. Is it Jacinto or Jacinto? I'm going to call him Jacinto for now. Love this one. Ghost Rider. Really good. I know, I know a lot of people have requested I do a video about Ghost Rider. I'm waiting because he's such a special video. I like so many people have requested him. I might do it at the end of this month. We'll see. I really want to do a Ghost Rider variant talk, but um, I'm, I'm holding it off because I know a lot of you guys keep requesting it. I want to wait until more of his variants are released. This is going to be a 1200 gold variant. If you guys are wondering, why is everyone requesting Ghost Rider? He probably has one of the best sets of variants. Like, these are incredible variants. So I want to do a whole video talk about all his variants in the future. Now we've got a bunch of Mirage variants. First one is Pixel. Nobody likes it. 700 gold. Let's move on. Then we've got Maria Wolf. This is awesome. A bit messy. A bit much happening on the, on the card all at once. But it's not bad. I, I do. I like it a lot. I don't know much about Mirage. I actually just found out she's an X-Man by seeing the X on her shoulder. But I love this. The sh all the arrows are being shot at her and she's ready to keep fighting. Love the idea behind this variant. It's a bit messy, but also really cool. Um, this one is going to be a 1200 gold variant. Then we've got Peach Momoko. Incredible. Are you kidding? This is like I, I, I must own. I want Mirage on day one and I want Peach Momoko instantly after that. Please don't tell me it's an ultimate variant. 1200. I'm good with 1200. I'll get this for 1200 gold. Thank God it's not ultimate. Then we've got the band variant of Legion. This is what I like. Give me a character as a variant and a cool background. I don't know anything about these characters in the background, uh, but I like the variant. Love that he's playing guitar or bass or whatever. Um, really cool variant. This is a super rare, so 1200 gold. We've got two left, everybody. Our first chibi variant of today's set, Deflock, finally getting his chibi variant released. The Deflock Chibi is going to be 700 gold. You know me. I collect Chibi variants, so this is going to be a must-own day one as soon as I see it. I do like Deflock as a character a lot. Love the character here. Love the background. Love the art being very different um, for most of the other ones. Like, I have this one here, the Tom Wallen, Waylon. Pretty cool, but I mean, I, I, I think the Chibi one's way better. And I really like the, the chicken one as well. This is going to be a 700 gold must-own. And we got one last one, Mystique pixel it's awful it's gonna be 700 gold i hope let me check yeah 700 gold who cares we don't want the pixel ones and that whew, are all the variants that are being added this month in july to marvel snap what do you guys think of the video please subscribe if you guys like talking marvel snap and everything snap related give this video a thumbs up if you got all the way to the end tell me in the comments which one is your go-to because for me it's got to be dead. This is my my must-buy day one. It's Deadpool. Which one is it for you? And make sure to subscribe because our next video, we're going to look at all the bundles for, that are coming this month in Marvel Snap. So we're going to look at them, all their values that are going to be in it, and all that fun stuff so you guys can see which one we should or shouldn't buy as a crew. All right, everybody. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.